All right, guys, this is for remote learning. Um, this is lesson 36, some and some more stories, part two. So this isn't really a new concept. We are just getting extra practice with word problems that are adding. That is all some and some more stories are word problems that are adding. If you'd like to pause the video and do some of these power up um, problems, you may do so. You don't have to if you've got a parent there to help you. Maybe you want to go ahead and do these things. Maybe you don't want to do them by yourself. It's totally up to you. Um, let's do this problem solving, though. Four children can sit on each park bench. If there are three, how many can children can sit on the benches? And this is multiplication. We're going to start um, doing multiplication a lot after Christmas. But for now, we can draw four kids on each bench and if you want to fast forward a little bit so you don't have to wait you can three four okay so if you have four here four here and four here we can add those all together we can count the people that I've drawn, or this is the same as having four, three times. Four times three. Any way you do this problem, you should get the same answer. So four and four is eight, plus four is 12. Four times three is 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So just Keep an eye out for those multiplication problems. You're gonna be seeing more of those. So for our first example of a sum and some more word problem, John rode his bike some. So he rode his bike nine miles. He rode his bike some more. In all, he rode his bike 15 miles. So what they've done here is they've given you some, but they didn't tell you how much more he went, but they did give you the total. So in our experience, that usually isn't a word problem. It usually looks like this. And you know how to solve these. You take the sum, 15, minus what you know, 9. And you get 6. Okay, 9 plus 6 is 15. We've got another example. John rode his bike nine miles too. Um, let's see, no, that looks the same. We're not gonna do that again. Let's go on to the third example, that one is different. Pasadena is on the road between Glendale and Azusa. It is 13 miles from Pasadena to Azusa. And it's 18 miles all together from Glendale to Azusa. So what's happened is we know how much it is all equal to, and we know how much this little piece is equal to, so we have all the information we need to find this, okay? And it would look like this. We had some miles and added 13 and got 18. Some of you are probably in your head already saying, I know what that is. Okay, 18. Because if you don't know what it is off the top of your head, you know what strategy to use, and that is subtraction. 8 minus 3 is 5 miles that we were missing. I'm going to go ahead and do um, just a few homework problems with you. Remember, if you are remote, you do 15. If you are in class, you do all 30. Okay, And some of you may be saying, well, that's not fair. But it, uh, it makes a big difference having your teacher here to help you. So I'll do the same thing for you if any of you go remote. So if you are remote, you do 15. If you are in person, you do all 30. So number five, the distance from Tan's house to the park is 100 yards. Is 100 yards the same as 30 feet or 300 feet? And this is kind of hard because you have to know that one yard is equal to three feet. So if we have three times one, that's three. 
we, we know most of our times one facts. Three, one group of three is three. The question is, do I have one zero or two zeros? And to answer that, you need to look right here at 100 yards. Not 30 yards, but 300 yards. If we were looking for the feet in 30 or in um, 10 yards, it would be 30. Uh, Mr. Sims is six feet tall. Continue this table to find out how many inches tall Mr. Sims is. So I look for patterns everywhere when I see a table. Um, right here, it's times 12. If you know multiplication, you can do that pattern. Um, from here to here is plus 12 because a foot is 12 inches. So 48 plus 12, um, 48, 12, let's see, 10, carry a 1, 4, 5, 6, that is 60. And then 60 plus 12, oh no. Um, adding two and nothing is two. Adding six and one is seven. Six feet is equal to 72 inches. Okay. Um, I'll give you the rule on number eight. It's plus seven. The rule on number nine is plus eight. I want you to show your work on 10 through 16 by stacking these numbers just like this. 987 and 245. I don't want you doing it side to side. Um, we haven't had very good results doing that this year. So make sure you stack it. You don't have to borrow. I will go through. Looks like you do have to borrow on number 14. Um, looks like it for borrowing. Number 8. 18. What fraction of a dollar is three quarters? So remember, whenever they're asking fraction of a dollar is, you need to know how many it takes to make the dollar. So fraction of a dollar uh, in quarters, there are four quarters in a dollar, and we have three. So it is three fourths. Number 19, if you don't have a ruler, it's fine. Just skip it. Don't worry about it. Um, and number 20, make sure you do digits and words. And whenever it says digits, you're like, yeah, but I see the numbers right there. I'm looking for a comma in that number, okay? All right, call me, email me if you need me, um, uh, if you have any questions.